what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crash on sword up or crashing on sword up issue you're currently having with frostpunk 2 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really help me out as a little youtuber as i am and especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work here in youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step i would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager next step is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking onto processes so once you click processes i want you to click one of those random processes once you clicked it you're gonna type in using your keyboard the name of your game if nothing pops up it's good for you if something pops up simply right click and hit end task once you're finished with that i want you to end the task manager again next step is gonna be to take your launcher shortcut on your desktop or your in-game shortcut on your desktop and if you don't have it there simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen click onto the windows symbol and use your windows search function in order to find it so once you found it drag it right back onto your desktop take it right click it and hit run as an administrator once you click run as an administrator your game will pop up or your launcher will pop up and i want you to launch your game over the launcher and if it crashes again return back to your shortcut right click it go to the very bottom where it says properties click into compatibility and simply copy my settings so let's quickly run through it enable run this program in compatibility mode 4 select windows 8 disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator hit apply and ok I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. What I want you to do next is gonna be to launch a game over the launcher, launching him instantly and this will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys that's it for the video, I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways I would just say have a nice day, see you at the next one and bye.